Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Cafe Mix episode with me. It's been a while since I did one and well mainly because of exhaustion and you know, the lack of time. I haven't been getting back into the game recently. So hopefully Celebi is still around. Oh thank goodness he is. I, I hope he is. Alright, let's see. When does this event end? Oh! I have six more days. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's um, try and get Celebi by the end of its event period. And apparently, yeah, the last video I made, we were talking about like there were 300 stages. Now that's 350. <laughs> Is this game, you know, improving too fast? I mean, it is a puzzle game and, you know, um, you know, things can get boring very easily, I suppose. But, you know, Pokemon Cafe Mix has been pretty interesting so far. The level design has been getting very, very difficult. <laughs> so, um, at least it's not going towards the um, structure like, um, I guess, Candy Crush. Where, you know, the levels are only clearable through RNG um, so yeah like uh, because of the, the random luck and the placements of like the beans and all that kind of stuff so yeah um, well, Pokemon Cafe Mix does have a bit of that factor involved at least it's not reliant on it and which makes it a pretty good game especially if you're a Pokemon fan you definitely love this game uh, aside from maybe pulling out your hair from clearing the stages. Alright, so I placed 45 in the last ranking. Uh, I, I don't know how many I've missed, but yeah. yeah. You know, the Grand Prix ranking really isn't much of a concern nowadays because um, it really depends on how much time you have to play the game. So as usual, let's begin this game, or rather this video, with an invite. Alright, we have Munchlek that requires some stars. You gotta level them up to level 2 at least. Right, let's go with Minchino. So I've been trying to catch up with this game on my Nintendo Switch as well. Um, I haven't been touching my main account on the Switch as well, so yeah, that's an issue as well. Um, mainly because yeah, there's no time and you know the Nintendo Switch doesn't come with internet connectivity unless you hotspot your device so yeah that's one thing as well let's clear out caramel alright let's get snubble okay what's up the elf though Alright, so let's clear out the caramel here and let's have the canisters fall. There we go, so we only need one more. And okay, let's push this milk carton thing towards the end so that at least, you know, we can have it fall. Oh god, is this stuck here? Seems like it. Oh, we ran out of moves. <laughs> okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. So let's retry. Good thing it's just the first level. Hmm. Okay, so the strat mainly is just to, I guess, get Minchino's skill icons to appear as much as possible. So we can just blast the entire row of caramels just like that. Alright. Let's get more chinos. Let's destroy some caramel here. Okay, we have our. There we go. Let's destroy the whole row of caramel. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, oh, we're still short of one. Now we just have to get a score. There we go. Can we just combine them together? Yeah. Once we're done with that, we just need that score. Grab as many icons as possible. 
I'm done. So apparently in the latest update, um, they removed the stage clearing combo mechanism, which really helped clearing stages in my last video. Uh, I guess that mechanism really made the game too easy, so the developers kind of removed it. As you can see, there's no more icon here on the bottom left. So that's a very interesting move. But I guess, you know, it's essential when it comes to maybe marketing of you know, the online in-game um, items, you know, so they can get money. Alright, so let's see. Um, we do have to get the whipped creams out though, so that's a problem. There's a lot of squirtles on board, so let's go squirt them first. And maybe try and get some whipped cream out. Okay, the chino seems to be a bunch. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the skill out, let's go with all the blossom icons. Fantastic. Um, there are a lot of Charmanders, so let's make use of that. Okay. We have an issue. We are not getting enough food creams out. So let's not let's not evolve the skill. I suppose. There we go. Okay, so we have a problem because there are some caramels still lurking around. Let's get rid of them. Maybe let's evolve this one. And hopefully the megaphones do their job. Uh oh. Okay, so we are kind of struggling here. We've only got six moves left. Let's clear as many of the tiny ones first. Okay, seems we are doing decently now. Let's get rid of all the tiny whipped creams. There's only one left, so let's just evolve this. And get rid of the last whipped cream. With a skill. And lots of mega force to boot. Hey, done. So what do you guys think of the game so far? Especially with the changes, or well, the additional stages. 350 stages are a lot. And of course, if you need you know, to grind the stages to get a good placing in your Grand Prix, I guess that's one of the things as well. You know, but for now, we are just here to try and get Celebi to join us. Always remember to pay attention to the event's date um, duration because you don't want to end up missing it. We don't know whether they will be reissuing the event in the future because so far it doesn't seem like <laughs> it's gonna happen anytime soon. They've been always been releasing new content, so that's kind of a problem. Okay, so let's get the skill in. We try to avoid the honey um, because yeah, we don't want it being bubbled up and then we'll have issues clearing them later after being coated in olive oil. So okay, there's a lot of squirtle. Oh, we do need the Jigglypuff icons though. Get rid of this. Alright, let's get Squirtles going because we need Jigglypuff to appear more. So let's just burst them out of the bubble. Okay, let's get all the Jigglypuff. Alright. So I guess we combine this. And destroy as many of the Squirtles as possible. So we can get Jigglypuff as the majority. There we go. Oh. Didn't expect to set it off. I guess that's a bonus. Alright, we're done. 
So that's basically the strategy for this level. As long as you pay attention to what is required to clear the level, you should be fine as long as you take your time to think and don't rush. Unless it's one of those stages where you have those icons just moving around the screen all the time. <laughs> and maybe you might have to think fast. Oh, okay, so we've got this Celebi Challenge card. Let's claim the rewards. Not that we use it very often. Alright, let's move along. So, no sign of Celebi yet. So yeah, I was saying that I was getting back into the game on my Nintendo Switch account as well. And I managed to unlock Celebi there. But it took a lot longer than expected. Because now that they've... Um, kind of... Removed the... You know, um, stage clearing mechanism combo. So it is a lot harder. Okay, let's go around the vegetables. We need to clear the vegetables. So, yeah, as you can tell, I've been using the skills from Munchlax to just destroy the cheese layer, having the that wall there around so that you know it just holds the items in place. Okay, so let's just go around. Alright, there we go. We do need to get megaphones activated, so with much less skill, I think we have no problem with that. It's just the vegetables. Okay, so let's let's just press this. Alright, megaphones are cleared, so we just need to get vegetables. So let's go round and round. The score isn't a problem, considering that this map produces a lot of icons at one go. If you feel like the cheese at the top is kind of a hindrance, you can decide to clear them, but you know it's kind of a waste of a move just to specifically focus to destroy them. Alright. Oh, 16 place. Not too bad. Let's see. Oh, executor. Okay. So Executor is a new Pokemon, no sign of Celebi still, so that's kind of a bummer. So this video definitely might be a bit longer than the usual ones, because we are trying to rush to get Celebi, because, well, we've only got six more days, and, you know, oh, you have to get a link of five, holy crap, that's a lot. Okay, so let's get all the floating bubbles if possible. Um, we probably should have kept um, more Togepi around. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Can we get... You know, okay, I've got two of the popcorn kernels. Let's change some of the blossoms. Ah, oh, blossoms were still the majority. Oh well. Let's get the popcorn kernels once more. I think we're almost done. Oh, we have one in the sky. So let's... Let's see, can we get a 45? Yeah, there we go. Alright. So the next thing is just to get a score. So let's have this skill somewhere in the middle. So that, you know, it can spread out and change more icons. So yeah, that's the main objective. Let's get a good change so we can get a good score. Oh dang, we're short of 80! <laughs> that's just ridiculous! Okay. Oh well. Guess we're using up all the moves. That's fine. Ah. It's nice that we're feeding Executor with a straw. He has no hands to use cutlery. <laughs> uh, can you imagine him eating hot cakes? No, like maybe he's slamming his face into the plate and just gobbling up everything. Alright, so no sign of Celebi still, that's okay. Ooh. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna have to use the skill to destroy the ice cubes and then get the tomatoes out. Oh. So let's go with that strat. Let's destroy as many of these caramels as possible. Okay, so since we have this now, let's just get rid of this ice cube bundle here. Because I don't think, I don't think it's wide enough to get rid of 
you know, a three row ice cube entrapment. So, okay, we do have tomatoes out already, so let's just push them along. Let's see, can we hit three? Oh, oh, oh we can. You gotta be careful, don't want to move too much. Oh, there's caramels inside. Okay, so that's not a good thing. Alright, so let's. Oh! I let go of the icon. Oh, such a waste of move. I wanted to roll a bit more. Have the tomatoes roll a bit more. Okay, so let's get this. We've completed the tomato request, so we just gotta get the score. And we're done! Wow, five moves left! Uh, five moves! Left. <laughs> Why did I move the S to my left? <laughs> ah, my brain sometimes. Okay. Alright, look at all the acorns we are gathering up. I feel like a squirrel. Alright. Do we see? Oh, still no sign of Celebi. How long is it gonna take for you to appear? Oh no, that's a lot of olives. Okay, so Pikachu skill does destroy things upwards. Um, I guess let's go with Lucario. Let's get all the, you know, olives uncoated first. Then from here, let's go with Michino because there seems to be a lot of them. Okay, so that wasn't a great move. There's so few icons of certain types. Okay, Pikachu seems to be a lot. Alright, so let's go with Chino again. Oh, I didn't destroy the popcorn. That's such a problem. Okay. Right, so we definitely want to try and get rid of all the olive oil coatings, but you know, there's just too many olives roaming around, which is very annoying. Okay, let's get rid of this popcorn kernels and a marshmallow. Okay, let's get the most icons available. Clear out. Get rid of the olive first. Alright, can we can we do this? Yeah, we go. we gotta get rid of the coating on top of the popcorn kernel. Let's see, do we have enough megaphones? Yes, we have plenty of megaphones. So let's just destroy what we need. And we're done. Not too difficult a stage. Just gotta be very aware of what is still coated in olive oil. Don't want to get trapped um, redoing that stage just because of that olive oil coating. So pay very close attention to it. Oh. Are we gonna rescue someone? Oh! Okay, so new decoration for a new Pokemon to appear. Chino is looking very happy. Wonder what you're gonna ask for. Oh, we have our new friend, but no sign of Celebi, so that's kind of a bummer. Meowth, let's go. Oh boy, so the icon regeneration is on the top section. Let's just gather as many meows as possible, then let's destroy the cheese. But at the same time, let's try and touch as many of the whipped creams. Okay, so the thing about this level is, it's actually better for you to start destroying the stuff behind that wall from the bottom. And of course, power up your meow skill uh, every time because you need the range. You know, that's, that's one of the main issues about this level is that you know, Meow's skill is kind of short. Okay, don't want to 
blink too many. Okay, let's go. And yeah, try and get as many rows covered as possible. Go. So let's get all the Meowth icons going once more. Alright. Let's combine this. Alright. Seems like we're pretty good. Uh oh. Did I touch Meowth? Oh, that's a problem. Well, at least one of the skills appeared. Okay. Hopefully that's enough to call out another skill. There we go. And we have done! With exact amount of moves used! Holy crap. So if I didn't pay attention or, um, you know, to the objectives, and I wasn't planning out a strategy, I probably might have ended up retrying this level. So, luckily for you guys, if you guys are following me on the series, you guys know what to expect beforehand if you are not, well ahead of the game <laughs> as from where I am you know I'm sure some of you have probably cleared all 350 levels by now if you have probably been a hardcore Pokemon Cafe mix player there seems to be a lot of fewer people playing nowadays because on my t Nintendo Switch I easily ranked number one just from probably an hours worth of playing in the Grand Prix so it's kind of obvious that you know, a lot of people probably gave up on the game because of how difficult the stages can be. But that's kind of a bummer. Oh, come on. Let's go over there. There we go. Gotta clear all the honey. Alright. So, we do need to get Starly's skill powered up because we want to try and rely on as many megaphones to clear the level as possible. So, yes, pay attention to that as well. Okay. So, let's see. Um, there are a lot of snubble going around. So, let's use snubble to clear off the last two honey. Let's combine this. And hopefully, the summon megaphones will do its job. Oh, come on. <laughs> we just short of one. Ah, uh, that's fine. Okay, so we do need this score. So maybe let's just destroy the last sugar cube first and have lesser worries. So which icon appears the most? Okay, let's just... Oh, we're done. Wow. Okay, that surprised me. <laughs> I expected to do one more move, but that's fine. Right. Oh, I see Celebi behind our new friend. Consecutive new visits. Nice. Alright, double so. Let's go. Ooh. What's with this level design? It looks like a... You know, the... You know Akuma has like this logo at the back or this Japanese kanji word at the back of his um, uniform or you know uh, streetwear I don't know his <laughs> martial arts uniform so it looks like the Chinese word for big or in Japanese is also known as oki which is also big which is the same writing in Chinese as well so yeah it's got that kind of feeling from it so Okay, we do have the items being coated in olive oil, but the main thing is we need to get rid of as many olive oils, or rather olives as possible. So let's just go with the destruction of olives first. Oh my goodness, the amount of icons distributed is just really uneven. Who has the most icons right now? Seems like it's Pikachu, because the colour is very prominent. <laughs> but it may not be Pikachu. Seems like it's Munchlax now. Okay. We do need Bubble Saw though. So. I don't know. Let's, let's just get rid of all the others as possible. So we can have hassle free time later. 
Okay, let's get bubble saw going. Okay, that's oh, we still have a few olives going on. Oh no, I missed out on one. My big fat finger was blocking the way. Okay, Pikachu. Alright, one of the olives is gone. We still have one more. Let's uncoat them first. Okay. Um, it is better to destroy things in the middle so that you know this skill has more coverage in the center. There we go. Great example right there. So let's uncoat this canister. We do have to uncoat the one at the top though, so that's a problem right there. And we're running out of moves. That's not good. Okay. So we gotta dig. We gotta dig them out. Probably shouldn't have been using the skill at this point in time, considering that we need to combine the canisters with the milk item. So, well, there we go. We are short of that one particular thing. Oh, yeah. Since I have the acorns for it, let's just go with it. Because we're trying to rush to get the Celebi. So, let's move this along. Simple as that. That's a really nice looking appetizer if you're a person who enjoys a bit of fine dining. So, tomatoes, olive oil, and cheese. Very nice. Hey. Our first mythical Pokemon. Look, Celebi is here. It's not a Pokemon we usually see, blah blah blah, the usual sentences. It's, it would be nice if like the game developers created different phrases for each of the Pokemon that appear. It makes things a bit more interesting rather than just reusing you know, similar assets for every single event. Alright, so let's move along. We need Blossom for this. We just need 5 stars um, for Celebi to join us. Oh. Seems like the whipped cream piping bags are like entrapped, so we do need to pay attention to the whipped creams that are floating above though. So let's try and unlock them. Gotta go round and round. There we go. Okay, Blossom's skill is um technically a round skill, so let's just we only managed to do two. Okay, we did summon a few more, so that's fantastic. Okay. So if we can use the skill to get more we can out at the same time we want to strong a few more. Yeah, it's all good. Gotta pay attention to where the majority of the whipped cream is. Of course, you want to pay attention to those that are like trapped in the corner as well. Don't want to end up, you know, missing out on them. Seems like we are destroying all of them pretty evenly. Okay, so there's only three left. But we do need to activate a few megaphones, so maybe let's just use the skill to destroy the whipped cream at the same time, call out megaphones. Okay, the other thing we need to do is score. So let's get as many icons as possible. Um, yeah. Okay. Alright, we've got the score cleared, so let's just do this. Hopefully that's more than enough megaphones to settle the job. Whew, barely made it. Alright, we are on our 10th stage. 
let's open up the gift. Alright, let's tackle this one first. If only there was a friendship bonus on this level, that'd be fantastic and get four, you know, get um, six stars right off the bat. Okay, we gotta find those pumpkins. And of course there is that olive oil situation as well. I mean mayonnaise and you know, the olives are hiding inside the mayonnaise. So let's just see where the majority of the things are by destroying, you know, the first layer of the mayonnaise. So we can take a peek. Alright, uh who has the most? Seems like it's a puff. Okay. Charmander's next. Hmm. We've got a problem. Everything's so messy right now. Okay, the pumpkins are mostly all out. We just got to pay attention. Okay, let's just destroy the majority here. Let's get rid of the whipped creams. Or no, marshmallows, I mean. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Uncoat those pumpkins. Very essential. Charmander. Alright, marshmallows are important as well. Off. So like the distribution of the icons here are very evenly paced out, which can get very distracting because you won't know what to focus on. Okay, so we have to let's see, let's combine this, let's get this done. So hopefully the skill in front will destroy that pumpkin there. There we go. All in one got uh, one's quick destruction, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, not too bad of a level. Just gotta pay attention to how the you know, icons are spread out. And of course, if you can push all the pumpkins together and destroy them all at one go, that's the strat. Of course, clearing off the olives and you know uncoating stuff at the same time helps as well. So. Apparently we've got a new dessert on the shelf. Alright, we're back to it. Um, by the time this portion comes in, it's actually the 8th of September. So tomorrow is actually the last day that V is still around. So hopefully you guys have been playing. <laughs> uh, you can tell that I don't have as much time to record as usual. So um, the first part of this video technically was on a different day. <laughs> it's a few days after that. So yes, finally we are back to it, so let's get down to the neat and nitty gritty um, of clearing the levels. So 231, still quite a bit away from the current um, final limit I suppose. So we do have the inclusion of chocolate right now. So it does take, wow, 5 hits on the chocolate to completely destroy it. But of course if you use skills, it will clear immediately. So. That's pretty handy to know. Alright, let's get Mintino to power up the skill. Okay, we want to try and destroy the... I guess the floating tree. Um, because, well, the bottom ones can be easily destroyed by... Uh, I guess the skill. So, let's see. We have a lot of Squirtle. Let's make, make use of Squirtle right here. Alright, combine the skills. Let's just destroy this. Okay, um, let's get Minchino. With this. There we go, we should be able to clear this. Just like that. So, usually in production stages are always easy so if you have um let's say an event pokemon that requires to use its skill that kind of stuff 
introduction stages are always the best ways of you know clearing missions on the mission cards for those event Pokemon. So yeah, take advantage of that. Okay, we need Jigglypuff to satisfy Jigglypuff. Hmm? <laughs> Same species. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so 80 Jigglypuffs required lots of chocolates to destroy. Um, Jigglypuff does destroy things in a circular manner. So maybe let's make use of the center lane to do some powering up and of course clear the chocolates at the bottom. Because we can actually destroy chocolates in the middle with the skill of Jigglypuff. I don't know whether it can reach all. Probably not, so let's just destroy three of them first. Might want to try powering up Jigglypuff's abilities. Um you know just to get the full benefit okay let's see we have another one all right let's get Squirtle going okay let's just destroy the chocolates here we have the skills all right let's just destroy the chestnuts and the chocolates along could have shifted a bit lower but that's fine Grab a bunch of charm members. There we go. Let's get all the required destructions here. And a whole bunch of jigglypuffs. So with this we should be able to clear with this skill. And we are done. Not too difficult a level. Oh, we are still short of the chestnut. <laughs> Good thing we have megaphones. But we wasted one extra move. But that's fine. That actually looks very good. I'm craving some sweets right now. Oh, Minchino has the friendship bonus. Fantastic for the Grand Prix, I guess. If that actually matters anymore. <laughs> Considering that... Each Grand Prix session lasts for technically three days long. Uh, kind of. If my math is correct. <laughs> so 24 hours is one day times three. 60, 72. Yeah, close to three days. It's about there. Okay. So let's try to get that bonus stars earned. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so we've got a problem with the frozen fruit baskets. Uh, since our main Pokemon skill does destroy things upwards, we might want to aim towards destroying the chocolates at the bottom. So maybe let's leave the main Pokemon's icons at the bottom for now and try to charge up the skills bar by destroying or defrosting the... Um, yeah, the food baskets for now. Okay, do we have enough? I think so. So let's do this. Yeah, there we go. So we can activate a skill. Let's get that nine boxes handled. Alright, now that we have that going, uh, let's just get a whole bunch of icons. Oops. It wasn't really done very well. It got jammed in a corner. Okay. Alright, let's get things going. Okay. Let's do another nine. You gotta be very careful. Oh! I shifted a bit. Oh, dang. That's fine. Alright, let's unlock the center lane. Okay, we have jam the right there. Okay, snubble. There are a lot of snubbles here. Alright, let's get the chocolate here. Let's not move. Let the timer run its course. Alright. Munchlax. Let's cover as much of the vegetable boxes as possible. Okay, I think we're doing pretty well. 
Um, it's just... That's, I guess the chocolates are the problem. Yeah, the chocolates are the only thing left, so let's try to get them covered. Yep, there we go. Gotta do that precise positioning. So, not a very difficult stage, just gotta be careful. Don't want to be too careless on the shifting of the skill. Alright, 17th place. Let's keep going until we see Salabi again. Ooh, I do not like levels with olives. They really cause a lot of problem. Okay, so let's gather a whole bunch of these guys up. Alright, so let's just get a lot of Togepi as well and destroy as many of the marshmallows as possible. Okay, I think we're doing fine. Alright, all the caramels are gone. It's just the olives and some marshmallows. Seems good. Alright. Oh. The score is the only thing left. Okay, let's just destroy this in the middle of the whole bunch of icons. And that should do it. Wow. Lots of moves remaining, so lots of acorns to be earned. Moving along. I wonder who's in line right now. Hey, it's Evie. Sixty thousand score. Four tomatoes and three others. But okay, the popcorns are on the other end. So the main thing is to get the cheese to destroy. Let's go this way. Okay, double saw. Charmander. Alright, with that done, let's just move the. Oh god, the tomatoes are getting out of place. Okay, oh god, one of the tomatoes are coated, so that's not a good thing. So let's just get a whole bunch of this because we need the score. Okay, we've got a bit of a pinch here. We need to push this tomato back in. Alright, oh god, this thing is floating away. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, that tomato is in. How are we going to get you down? Oh no, this is a problem. Okay, okay. Can we push you down? There we go. That should do it. There you go. Whew, we almost made a mess right there. So, yeah, the strategy is basically simple. Just destroy the cheese at the bottom. Um, then of course get the tomatoes in first before destroying the olives because you don't want the tomatoes to get coated by olives as you can see in that situation that we just gone through we want to avoid that then of course the popcorn kernels are the less the last of your worries so yeah all right Celebi's here all right we've got to meet him four more times hopefully we can do this as quickly as possible because Tomorrow is the last day for Celebi. <laughs> and I'd like to put this video out before you guys um, lose the chance to be reminded <laughs> to do so. Alright, so I wasn't paying attention to this level. Oh god, this one requires you to dig out the items. So that's a problem. Okay, Starly, let's go. Alright, let's push the cans in. Or maybe pull them out. Okay, we need to destroy the whipped creams though. So let's destroy the tree and get more out. Okay, the honey is a problem. Alright, let's dig this out if we can. Oh god. Okay, we managed to dig it out though. 
a kind of a waste of a move. Okay, oh, we jammed here. Alright, let's destroy the honey. Okay, maybe let's focus a bit on the honey first. We need the space. Okay, lots of starly. Alright, all the honey is gone. Okay. Let's see, can we pull the canister over? There we go. Now the problem is to get both items out. So we need to pull out the canister. Can we get it out? Oh god. Okay. Um yeah, this level is a problem. Let's okay, we kind of got it out. Okay. Alright, oh. It's not coming out. Ah, that's a problem. Okay. Okay, it's out. It's out. Technically it's out. <laughs> so now the problem is to get them together. Seems fine. There we go. They're as close as I can get them. So let's join. And we are done! Whew, thank goodness. And we used it on the last move as well. So it's a very tricky level. Probably might end up retrying if you if you're struggling digging the items out. But yeah, systematic order. Get rid of the obstructions first. Then of course use as little moves to dig out items as possible and you should be fine the whipped cream isn't a problem there's only a total of six to destroy so yeah as long as you have your skills ready to do so i think you'll be good okay let's go keep going Stoutland. Mm -hmm. oh there's pumpkins in this one Okay, so Stoutland skill does destroy things downwards, so maybe let's just open the sugar cubes from the top. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, we get as many skills as possible. Okay, let's surround this. Okay, we definitely want to try to get another one, so we can do a full blast. Right. Oh no, okay, they're sliding out. That's not a good thing. Alright. Okay, let the icons hold them in if possible. Okay, we're gonna destroy the three pumpkins. Alright, we've got most of the chestnuts. So, with this... Oh, it's not enough. Oh god. <laughs> oh well. I thought that would be long range enough. Oh well, who cares? Okay. Maybe for now, let's try shifting the chestnut as close to the pumpkin as possible. So we can use Stotland's skill to destroy all things at one go. And we are done. Okay, another pretty easy level. Nice megaphone combo right there. Nubbles back in line. Let's give him what he wants. Oh. Okay. So I guess the caramels are going to be a problem. So let's just get rid of them at the same time trying to get the vegetables. Okay. Considering that, you know, the items do pop in. So let's just do a swirl to get as much coverage as possible. Wanna get those um, caramels in the corner. There we go. And with this, hopefully, let's see, can we get three? Yep. We have enough space to get a whole bunch of megaphones summoned. 
Okay. Let's get the Pikachus. Cover as much of the vegetable crates as possible. Okay, we do need to summon a whole bunch of megaphones as well. So let's use the skill to destroy the megaphone. And summon a few. Alright, it seems like the vegetable crates are the only ones left. So we just have to cover as much as we can. And we are done! Not too difficult a level. Just hopefully you guys are observant enough to know which area to start from. Because the funnels do drop icons and, well, obstructions onto the side. Hey, Executor! One of the newer Pokemon that you can befriend. So if you guys didn't know, um, there is the announcement for the new event Pokemon already. I can't remember if I actually mm, mentioned it in the beginning of this video because well, technically, it's been a few days since that recording, so do pardon me if I've forgotten. Okay, lots of Squirtle. There we go, so let's power up Barbasaur's skill. Oh, it's still not long enough. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, let's clear the Marshmallows. And some chocolate. That megaphone is gonna help a bit. Alright, more bubble saw. Gotta get that skill going. Okay. Maybe with the skill we could destroy the chocolates. Oh, we managed to get a marshmallow as well. Okay, with this we should be done unless I mess up the positioning. Fantastic. So yeah, don't bother destroying the chocolates the normal way. Just use the skills. So like I was mentioning, we can take a look at the brand new event notification. There we go. So Torterra. Um, clears Pokemon icons and gimmicks below and replaces icons above with icons of the most common Pokemon. Oh, I guess, uh, well, his name is really hard to pronounce, Torterra. It's going to be a good Pokemon, especially for stages that require you to, you know, destroy a certain icon. Yep. So it's starting tomorrow at, well, basically it's 2pm in Singapore. That's the time that the server resets. So looking forward to that. Alright, let's open up this gift. Guess this video is going to go beyond 20 stages. Well, I guess it's time we caught on. With all the available stages currently, because we are lagging behind quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. 90,000 score. Okay, so we're going to have to rely on some luck here. Because Starly's skill does, you know, destroy things in randomness due to its uh, skills ability. Okay, so let's get some Starly going. Okay, let's do this. Gonna give some space for the megaphones to be summoned out. Oh, goodness gracious me, that was horrible luck. Horrible, horrible luck. Okay, let's go in there. We'll make sure to destroy the sugar cubes as well. Right, let's cover the popcorns. Let's get another Starly batch going. Okay. All 
Alright, so we have this. Let's just destroy the popcorns. Hopefully all the... Oh no. That's just horrible. <laughs> okay, so let's get... Lots of starly now. Let's make use of this. Okay. Toga P. Alright, now that we've got the popcorns destroyed, let's just get rid of all the chocolates here. Hopefully. Oh, come on. Okay, so. We technically can do this, but we still won't have enough moves. Ah, oh, that's just horrible luck. So as you can tell, this level really requires some luck. So let's try this again. I'm not gonna... I mean, technically I could use 900 acorns just to clear the stage with that last megaphone. But, ah, uh, you know. I'm just, just trying to show you guys that, you know, luck is required for this level. Okay. Let's destroy the chocolates here. Hopefully the megaphones does do something. Nope. And of course they don't do anything. <sighs> luck is just horrible with me. Okay. Now that most of the icons, the acorns are free. Oh man. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay, let's go in. like we're doing fine um, as long as we cover most of the popcorns right here there we go let's just use this um, hopefully to destroy all the chocolates at this corner the last one will be dependent on the skill there we go and with this we are done so yeah uh, quite a bit of luck is required but there is some techniques basically um, if you can get rid of the sugar cubes at the top and use Starly's skill to go in and destroy the surrounding blocks. I think that's pretty much the way to go. Oh, fifth place. You can probably tell that there's lesser people playing right now. Charmander. Okay. So we do need to scoop the items into the area, so let's do that. Let's scoop these guys in. Can we get them in? There we go. Alright, Squirtle. Scooping them is one thing. So, okay, did we get all of them in? Next is to destroy the marshmallows. Okay, we need Pikachu because there's a whole bunch of them here. Alright, with this, let's just use Charmander skill to destroy the marshmallows and hope to have the items drop down. There we go. Okay, we do need to destroy this last ice cube. Luckily, the marshmallow is highlighted <laughs> after being released. If not, we might have to waste another move. Just to wait for it to light up. So far the stages are pretty easy. Alright, let's keep going. Charmander's back. I wonder when's the next time we're gonna see 
Celebi. Uh oh. Look at all the olives right there. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. So Pikachu does destroy things upwards? Hmm. So let's just aim towards the bottom stuff. Since we can get rid of the things above with Pikachu skill. Okay. Coked them. Oh. Seems like we activated Pikachu's skill by accident. But that's fine. Lots of Lucario. Okay, we've got a skill stuck in there. But that's fine. Let's get rid of the Lucarios. Okay, we definitely need to free um, those sugar cubes from the olive bubbles. Okay. okay, olives are done. Now the only problem is to set free that. Um, oh god, we have a problem. They are too far apart. So we just wasted a move trying to set that sugar cube free. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo this. This is just horrible. Unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Oh well. Okay. Now that we know that the Pikachu skill can touch items at the bottom, that might actually help us clear things a lot faster. So let's try. Okay, Pikachu. Alright, let's set those icons free first. Okay. There we go. Lots of Pikachus. So let's make use of it. Okay. With this, I think our other problems should be solved. There we go. Wow. It was so much easier. Okay, now that we know how to actually handle them. Oh wow. Okay, there are a lot of Lucarios, but probably most of them are coated in olive oil. So that is a problem. Juice. Okay, let's get rid of this olive. Can we get rid of all three? Oh yes, we can. Right, so we just have to gather all the EV icons now. That should be enough for the score. Wow, so much faster! Okay, so after this, you know how to handle this level. Yeah. Hey, Celebi's back. Wish there also was a, well, a friendship bonus. <laughs> chance. If not, you know, we're gonna have to drag out the video even longer. Ooh. Okay, so let's get Meowth as much as we can. And we're gonna push icons towards the left because Meowth skill does destroy things on the right. We're gonna have to start pushing things backwards. Because... Okay. Um, just like this. Just destroy as many mayonnaise as possible. I wonder how many popcorns. Okay, there are eight of them. Okay. Let's see. There's a lot of EV. All 
right, there's a lot of squirtle now. So let's just get the squirtle going. Oh, we missed out on destroying that popcorn. That's fine. Okay. We've got four covered. So there's four more to go. There's two inside the mayonnaise bubble though. So let's try to set them free. Here we go. Alright, let's try to get them together. Oh, at least I got three. Oh no, we, we ran out of moves. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna use this. Because I can afford to. That's it. <laughs> but, you know, the strategy is basically to try to get all the popcorn kernels out as possible and just gather them together so you can just use Meowth skill to uh, destroy them all. Right, two more meetups. Oh, Executor is getting the friend bonus. Alright, we're still in fifth place. Wow. So we get three stars with this. We just need one more star, and Executor joins the cafe. Oh, okay, so. Apparently this one, everything's in the center except the whipped creams. Hmm. Okay, let's just gather icons and destroy as many whipped creams as we can. Or rather get the piping bags to squeeze out the whipped creams. Alright, now that we have the skill, let's just do this. We have to destroy the pumpkin though. Okay. Let's get Togepi going. Alright, let's get more whipped cream out at the same time. Okay. Maybe we should have gone closer towards the pumpkin here. Yeah, should have done that. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Starly. Alright, same thing. Ooh, lots of Togepi now. Gonna help us get those skills. Alright, oh nice! We managed to destroy another pumpkin. So one more pumpkin in the way. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We've got our skill. We are done. So make sure you target as many pumpkins as possible with the skill. So you can gain more acorns by clearing the stitch earlier. There we go. Just need one more star for Executor. Alright, oh, fourth place. Oh, Celebi's there. Nice to see him coming back so quickly. Ninety thousand score. Lots of chocolate though. Okay, so the main problem here is actually the honey, not the chocolate. So let's clear as much honey as we can. There's a lot of jigglypuffs. Okay, now that we've got... Maybe we should just keep going to destroy the honeys first. They are a problem. Okay. That was my bad. I shouldn't have gone that direction. Oh well. What's done is done. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I was gonna grab the skill. Oh well. Let's grab the skill. Let's destroy the three chocolates here, so we can make way for more icons. Oh dang, that wasn't doing much. Okay, let's get all the starly. Let's destroy the honey here. Okay, Jigglypuffs, we still do need the score though. 
So let's get as many icons as possible. Charmander. Okay. I think we're good. There we go. We gotta cover as many as we can. So that last chocolate just needs a megaphone. And we are done. going Ooh, chestnuts at the top okay I guess we're gonna have to use blossom skill to destroy the chestnuts try not to bump into them no. okay there we go Ooh. The megaphones didn't drop <laughs> the location that I wanted, but that's fine. Okay, maybe it's time to start scooping up. Yeah, let's scoop up the items. Okay, let's go in and destroy all three. We can handle the other two later. Push them, push them. Uh oh, why is this one doing up here? Oh no. Okay, so I've put myself in a bit of a pinch. But that's fine. Where is the other canister? Oh god, the other canister is up there. Okay, it's come down. Okay, it's come down. It's come down. Patience. Hopefully, a megaphone destroys the chestnut for us. Well, we destroyed one. Okay, so we're good. We just need to use this megaphone. Wow. <laughs> a bit nervous right there. Almost failed to clear this in just one try. So yeah, I think the chestnuts can be a problem first because if you move them around the stage too much and they get separated away, it's going to be harder to destroy. So maybe let's say um, we could use Blossom's skill and move it into the center of the whole bunch of chestnuts as long as they are held together by the rest of the icons. Yeah, you can destroy all of them at one go, I suppose. All right. The fourth star for Celebi. I guess we're not gonna end up doing the event card for Celebi. Oh boy. Okay, so this one we do have to destroy the cheese. So let's gather the popcorns around the main icons that we have selected. So there we go. Okay, let's just do this as well. Okay. Jigglypuff. Oh, missed out on one. That's fine. Where are the chestnuts though? Oh! Oh, the chestnuts are being... Okay, so we just need one more Squirtle icon. We should be able to destroy all of them. Let's see. Can we get all of them? Oh, we're gonna miss up with some. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Okay, we've got all of them. Oh, there's a popcorn here. 
Mm. Oh no. Are we able to clear this with just Charmander's icons? Oh, I hope so. Yes, we did! Oh, that was so nerve wracking. <laughs> I was looking at the score amount. I was like, oh no, 12,000. How am I going to get 12,000 if there aren't enough icons of the same kind? Thank goodness, thank goodness. Okay. Let's keep going. Jigglypuff. Oh. What's with that U shaped vegetable crate positioning? Okay, so the basket is at the bottom right, and there are two tomatoes. So that's a problem. Okay, I guess Jigglypuff is the one, because there's more of them right now. So let's just set the tomatoes free. And maybe let's just use Bubble Saw. Alright, destroying as many of the caramels as possible. Squirtle. Come on, Squirtle. Help us out. Alright, there we go. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we need to get you guys down. There we go. Oh, one went in by itself. That's fine. Okay. Alright. With that, we have the skills. We have the talent. If you, know, if you guys know where I'm quoting it from, you know I'm a big nut for it. Okay, we got off Squirtle, let's get in there. Jigglypuff skill is just nice for this vegetable creek positioning. Alright, we're done. Not a very difficult level. You gotta make sure that the tomatoes are your first priority. The caramels will just come along. Okay. Oh, second place. So, the problem here is that there are chocolates that are bubbled up, So, but the icons on the right will not be filled up, so we do have to take caution. Okay, so let's try to... Um, okay, so now that we are close to getting the skill, okay, let's move it. So the main thing was basically to uh, have enough icons on the right side to leave the skill on the right side. So that's why I was playing around the icons on the left, charge up the bar as much as I can so I can make sure that I get the skill on the right side of the screen. Well, hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing. Okay. Uh oh, the skill stuck. That's not a good thing. Oh, that was such a waste. Oh well. Alright. Let's get Togepi going. We just need to power up the skill. Okay, at the same time, maybe we might want to destroy the chocolate at the top. Because it's standing by itself. Which is not a good thing. Oh god. No. Okay, we are definitely gonna have to retry this because we ran out of moves. Kind of did quite a few wasted moves right there. I mean, I could use the 900 acorns, <laughs> you know, considering that we're doing a video to heighten the speed right now, so I'm just gonna do that. By right, you shouldn't have problems with this level as long as we plan things out well. It just happened that I had mishaps. <laughs> oh, Blossom's getting the friendship bonus. Oh, Executor is back. 
can see Celebi is still having a blast with the popcorn. Oh, oh, what is the okay? The tenth level. After ten levels, you know you've got the two star difficulty, so we're getting six stars for Blossom. That's a great boost. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. So there are chestnuts stuck there. We're definitely gonna have to use a skill to set those chestnuts free. Mm. Okay, the main issue is that the funnels are being blocked by um, sugar cubes. So definitely want to try and destroy the sugar cubes at the same time as destroying the marshmallows. Got that done. Oh boy. Okay, so we need to use this to set this lane free. Alright. We definitely want to get the skills to be passed on, so that's try to get them down okay we've got one down so hopefully there's enough to destroy three chestnuts there we go all right we're done fantastic Kind of systematic. Ooh, look at all the stars. Hey, Velocity will replace Celebi. Hey, so we're gonna end the levels, or rather this video soon, with another 10 more stages. So we might end up doing some missions, I guess. This is a problem. Okay, so Pikachu's, Pikachu's. Did you guys see the collaboration video of Pikachu with Pikataro? Uh, what do you guys think of the video? If you guys have not seen it, if you guys should go and watch it. It's pretty adorable, considering that Pikataro was trying to translate what Pikachu was saying. And who knew that beef would, you know, be P. <laughs> I mean, like the word uh, Pikachu was saying, P was beef. That wouldn't make sense. But apparently, it was. Okay. So let's, see. let's set these guys free and use this megaphone to destroy the last of the olives. And grab a few Pikachus. Oh, that wasn't enough for the score. Okay, Michino then. And we are done! Surprisingly, we are not in first place. Okay, so this video, we are going to add Celebi, we're going to add Executor. Pretty good um, progress right there. <laughs> oh dear lord. There. Okay, so we definitely have to handle the honey at the same time. <laughs> the mayonnaise is a problem. Okay, so let's grab Munchlax. Let's cover Munchlax with as much honey as possible. Um, I guess Starly, they look like there are a lot more of them. Okay, Jigglypuffs. Mm, I don't know, 
the, the spread of Pokemon seems pretty even. Okay, let's use this. Hopefully it gets us some progressions. Okay, the marshmallows are gone. Well, technically some of them. Jigglypuffs. We gotta get that one free from its oil container. Ah, blossoms. Okay. Try and set this one free as well. Okay, we have cleared with honey, so we just have to get rid of the marshmallows. Alright, last two. Oh, we do need some score though. So, Meowth, do your thing. What? <laughs> Left with a hundred? This is horrible. Okay. Executor joins the clan. There we go. Look at all the happy faces. <laughs> Can you imagine if we serve coconut desserts in this cafe? Executor will be horrified. I mean, they are eggs, right? But technically, they are supposed to be coconut trees. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, here comes Celebi's turn. Hmm. Okay, there are 12 whipped creams to be destroyed. 4 popcorns. Maybe let's just use Starly's skill to try and um, destroy the kernels that are inside the corners. Let's go with Squirtle. Because that's just more of him. Let's get more whipped creams out as well. Okay, let's do this. Oh my goodness, the megaphones were not facing the right directions. Oh, that's just horrible. Okay. Okay, we managed to get one of them, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's see. Why is one of the wood creams stuck in there? Okay, we might have a problem. Yep, we have a problem. Okay, for video sake, <laughs> this is gonna fast forward. Let's just get all the squirtles and cover the remaining three whipped creams and we're done. This video is long enough as it is. You guys probably don't want to see me replay the <laughs> level. There we go. Now we can have an ease of heart and welcome Torterra the next day. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, now that we have this done, we can move along with the rest of the missions. So we definitely have to use Celebi from here. Hmm. Not sure if it's a good idea though. Oh. It's the same series. So that should be fine. Let's go. Hmm. Uh oh. 
Does Celebi destroy things downwards? Oh god. Look <laughs> at the chocolate that we cannot touch. Oh, let's just swirl them around and just hopefully join them all together. Let's get Celebi going. Okay. Hopefully. Oh no. What does Celebi do? Okay, Celebi does... Oh, he has two rounds of megaphones summoned? Holy crap! That's so powerful. Okay, okay. Let's just get a lot more Celebi. Power up his skill. There we go. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully we get those two chocolates destroyed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. That didn't do the trick. Oh no. This is so nerve wracking. Can I please have a megaphone that's pointing downwards? Okay, this is... Probably my last chance. No! What is this horrible luck? Oh god. Okay, we're gonna have to retry. <laughs> so, I switched over to Stoutland. Because I've tried three rounds with... A Celebi, and it wasn't helping at all, so I, I just had to go with the recommended. Okay, let's just. Can we get three rolls? Yeah, we can. Alright, let's get rid of Pikachu's. There we go. Alright, we're done with the bottom row. Now all we have to do is just gather a whole bunch of Pokemon icons to get that score. And of course we have to you know, summon a bunch of megaphones as well. So just like this, we're done. So much easier in Scotland. Ah, oh, Celebi. Why are you such an RNG Pokemon? <laughs> Alright, let's do our best to clear the last five stages with Celebi. Right, you. Oh, there you are. Oh boy. Okay, so the icons are gonna fall from the right side. So let's gather a whole bunch of Lucario first. Okay. Celebi. Let's just destroy as many of the honey. Because they are kind of in the way. Okay. Seems like doing fine. Although we do need to get rid of the vegetable crates as well. Celebi icons. Alright. Okay. okay, so Celebi doesn't destroy things around it. Okay. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> Didn't do much. You know, let's get some of the vegetables going first. Okay, hopefully we get some luck with Celebi. Ooh, lots of destruction right there. That's what I like. Okay, 
let's try to get all three pumpkins so we can concentrate on the vegetables later there we go oh we're done whoa <laughs> i thought we still had something to do okay moving along nicely going along further with celebi 90,000 oh boy okay we're gonna have to scoop the tomatoes into the top area so that's not looking good cuz you all know that I'm terrible with this okay oh god okay I, I got one to the top so that's not too bad Oh, oh, okay, one more to go. How do I get you there? Where did you go? Oh, you're still there. There we go. So now we just have to clear the whipped creams and... the marshmallows? Okay. Help us out to clear the last three whipped creams. Hopefully that does the trick. Oh come on. We just shot of one. <laughs> oh well. A lot Oh you could actually have used the funnel to shoot the tomatoes into the basket. That's kinda of risky. Oh well. Oh Buizo is gonna need a lot more stars to join us. Oh, we've got missions clear. Okay, it seems like we don't have to use Celebi for now. So we can use the recommended Pokemon, which is a good thing. It makes clearing stages a lot easier. Ooh. Okay. So let's get Jigglypuff going. Let's destroy as many of the caramels as possible. Chino, I need you for your skill. Okay, let's see. Can we get all of them? Yes, we can. So the next thing we'll do is to push the canister down. Wow, I guess destroying the caramels. Let's get you down. Okay. okay, we're good. Okay, now that they are down, let's just combine them first. There we go. Okay, so now we just have to clear the caramels. Wow! Fantastic. Okay. Hopefully this does the trick for the score. I mean, 20,000 is a lot, so we do need a lot more icons. There we go. Can't imagine clearing this level with Celebi. <laughs> oh! Now you get the friendship bonus. Oh well. So we do need to get Charmander's skill powered up. So let's just... Okay, we're gonna go from top to bottom. I wanna set those chestnuts free first. 
Okay. Gotta do this this way. So once we get Charmander's skill powered up, um, we can just destroy the whole bunch of chestnuts. Oh, they've dropped. <laughs> oh well, there goes the plan. Oh well, let's get this going like so. We can have all the chestnuts drop down now, considering that we've already ruined the plan. Technically, it's not ruined entirely. There we go. So all the chestnuts are done. Now we just have to cover the vegetables. Let's just get lots of Charmander and have the skill activated again. There we go. Oh, we just need one more. I mean, I was gonna go for this, <laughs> but I guess now it's just overkill. Well, to better be safe than sorry. There we go. Three stars for setup. Alright, another mission cleared. Fantastic. Okay, Pikachu. I need you. Ooh. Okay, so the tomatoes are coated, so as the pumpkins. Let's just get them uncoated then. Hmm. Okay, we can technically push the tomatoes down first. Um. Let's push them down. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have set free the pumpkins so quickly. Okay, let's get the Pikachu's going. With this, we'll have another skill. we managed to destroy uh, one of the pumpkins that was standing beside me. Okay, so if we could do this, it would be fantastic. Alright. Let's get Pikachu going. We want to cover as many of the sugar cubes as possible. So let's use the skill to push them all in and use the skill to destroy the last four sugar cubes. Whew! That was a close call. <laughs> Alright, finally we're on the last level for this video. Chino, do your best. Ooh. Okay. This is not looking good. So let's get a Michino's first. Okay, we do need to get rid of the cheese. So let's do this with the cheese. Destroy as many as we can. Okay, everyone's coated. Charmander. Oh no, they're moving away. Okay, this is a problem. Alright, we definitely have to uncoat everything. Of course, get rid of as many of the... Um... As as possible. Okay, let's do it 
ットです。This is a bit tricky. Got rid of all the chocolate and a bit of the. Oh, we still got. Okay. It's not too bad. Oh no. The megaphone's pointing the wrong direction. No. <laughs> This is just horrible. Okay, let's try not to mess things up again. Right. Let's go for the bottom row first, I suppose. Jigglypuffs. So many of you. Charmander. Okay. So let's get rid of the. Upper level first. Now we've got Minchino. Let's get rid of the olives. Right, Charmander. Let's set to the chocolate bar. And with this, we have enough megaphones to handle the last piece of chocolate. Oh my goodness! That was such a hassle. <laughs> okay, as long as things goes your way, it should be fine. But you know, sometimes it gets messy with a lot of olive oil. All right, we're getting an extra decoration. Ooh, jelly beans. Oh, we managed to clear this. Not bad. We managed to clear two challenge cards on the last day of Celebi's event. Nice. Okay. So with all that done, this is the longest video that I had to do for an event Pokemon, considering that rushing on the last day itself. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, you guys have enough time. To clear Celebi's event, hopefully. <laughs> If you haven't done so for yourself, why are you slacking off? Oh,、well, guys! Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize if this came out a bit late, <laughs> but you know, life has been busy, and yes,、uh, it's been tough to find time to get things done all together again. So yes, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have watched through the entire video, you guys are awesome. I can't explain how much it. Means to me if you guys watch the entire thing without stopping,、um, at least make it to the end without fast forwarding the video as well. And yeah, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon、uh, Cafe Mix in the future.、Um, next episode should be up soon once、uh, Tor Torteras. I'm having a hard time re reading his name. Torteras event starts tomorrow, so I will be recording tomorrow as well. And I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Till then, bye.